Let's get some. Stand by to get some. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Eric Melton. I'm with my good friend, Brad Stinson. What up, man? How's it going? Today we are myth busting with Marines. <laughs> myth busting. And today's myth is that VA loans are harder to qualify for based off your credit score. Brad, what do you think? False. Not true. 100%. Erroneous on all charges. All right. Um, VA loans are actually the most lenient when it comes to credit underwriting. And what credit underwriting is, is analyzing your credit to determine whether you have the ability to repay or have demonstrated that you have the ability to repay on a loan in which you are given to purchase a home. Mm -hmm. All right. Because this all, all of this ties into what are called lender overlays. Overlays are a, an additional layer of risk protection, right? So if you were giving me money, where do you, you would want to ensure that I have the ability to repay you that money, right? Absolutely. So um, the VA actually requires very few things, very few things, but every lender across the country can ask for more, all right? So he who holds the gold makes the rules, and that's what lender overlays are. So you get a lot of these things that blame the VA things. The VA doesn't allow that. The VA doesn't, no, the VA actually does. Did you know that the VA actually does not require a FICO score, the VA doesn't give a rip about FICO scores. So what are they looking for then? But every lender across the country yeah. requires a FICO score, <laughs> all right? So that is a lender overlay. The VA doesn't care about a FICO score. All they care about is are we investigating to make sure that this veteran has demonstrated the ability to repay a loan. That's a great benefit. Obviously, the other loans are very, they have a lot of rules, a lot of red tape, a lot of things you got to get through. And sometimes they just flat out miss it. Whereas the VA program sounds like it's there to help the veteran. Correct. The, the VA actually wants to put veterans in the homes, believe it or not. All right. Because they know the value it brings to a veteran. It helps them transition home. Yeah. It allows them to close a chapter and be in an active duty or reserve and allows them to transition back to civilian life. All right, so the VA wants to give homes, but the VA does not give the money. Mm -hmm. The VA insures the money. Mm -hmm. Lenders across the country give the money. All right, and I, so. And I, yeah, I, I absolutely agree. And I've heard you know, from the old program, be it, and they did a very poor job of educating people and also giving out these loans that wasn't run very properly, the VA program. That's where I think a lot of the myth comes from that it's hard to get into, they're not going to take care of you. But now, since it was around 2000, where they they updated the program, gave out higher loan amounts to ensure that veterans are going to get, enjoy this benefit. Correct. So the whole thing is, is, you know, think about all the mistakes you've made in your life. I know I've made a ton of them, all right? And I have absolutely no regrets of the mistakes that I made. They're actually not mistakes. They're learning opportunities to make you who you are today. But the key is you have to learn from those mistakes. And that's what exactly what the VA has done, all right? The VA has identified a lot of these issues that are out there mm -hmm. but the problem lies in the fact that there there's still people yeah you know agents lenders veterans yeah all right we all pull from our memories of the past so the things that were happening in 2001 have been passed down from agent to agent to agent and i spend 90 percent of my day yeah. myth busting and telling the truth about the va home loan mm -hmm. all right veterans are just as guilty about all of this as well. I mean, yeah. I was just telling you that I was added to a Facebook group of 73,000 veterans, and it took four hours for them to approve my, my join request. And by the time I got in there, there was 500 posts on the original post, which was, how does the VA feel about credit, and what is the minimum FICO score? Mm -hmm. Now, it's a veteran-only group, and there were 500 comments in there. Wow. And 500 comments were completely 100% wrong, all right? I know we're yeah. regurgitating yeah. what we've been told, but you know, every lender across the country can write a VA home loan, mm -hmm. just not every lender mm -hmm. can write a VA home loan, mm -hmm. all right? So the key is finding a VA educated lender and agent that can work together on your behalf, mm -hmm. all right? Because the VA guidelines are written in a way that is confusing to most lenders yeah. because FHA conventional guidelines are written in a way that tells you what you can do. Mm -hmm. The VA tells you what you cannot. Mm -hmm. All right, everything else is left to interpretation, yeah. which confuses people. Yeah. All right, take that one step further. You know, what's 
why a VA home loan specialist? What's the need for a VA home loan specialist? Well, let's take, take this into account. Last year in West Michigan, 32,000 total purchase transactions throughout the whole year, 2018, 32,000. That includes all financing types, cash, conventional, FHA, RD, VA, you name it. All right, of the 32,000, 1,400 were VA. Yep. Okay, which equates out to be a 4.6% market share. Now, an, uh, uh, an above average or killer loan officer, the one that agents go to, to, you know, when their deals are falling apart, like, hey, I need to go to this guy because I know that this loan officer is going to get it done. Yeah. Right? In our world, 100 loans is equivalent to killer loan officer. Yeah. Okay? Well, let's apply that same 4.6% to their 100 loans. So last year, you're telling me they did four or five VA home loans. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not their fault. Yeah. All right? I mean, they're a killer loan officer. They just don't understand the VA home loan process, and that's okay because, you know, let's go to the doctors together, man. All right, let's hop in my car because I need to go get my eyes checked up. Mm -hmm. Go go talk to my general doctor, yep. right? Yep. And sit, tell him, hey, my eyes are messed up. Doc looks in my eyes and says, hey, you need eye surgery. <laughs> Roger that, doc. How many of these did you do last year? Mm -hmm. I don't know, four or five. What are you going to do as, as a patient? Are Second you going to, yeah. yeah, you're going to ask to see a specialist. And that's where I come into play. Mm -hmm. VA home loan specialist, because I, I know the guidelines and I know the exceptions to the guidelines and can help you navigate through mm -hmm. that red tape. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like you've missed the boat, now people in the Navy understand that, you can always re -go, go back hey, and I refinance. Missed the, yeah. I missed the boat in Hong Kong, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On purpose. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you can always get back into these programs. It's a lot of people, if you want to take advantage of these things, like you can refinance your loan. You can tell your brother, sister, or uncle that aren't using these benefits. That's going to save them a lot of money if they actually enjoy these benefits. And they never expire. Your VA home loan benefit never expires. Mm -hmm. All right. If you used it once, you can use it again. Mm -hmm. All right. You can actually have two VA home loans at the same time. Yeah. If you foreclose on a VA home loan, you can absolutely have another one. Yeah. All right. If you have any questions on those, I highly encourage you to reach out to me. And I absolutely. absolutely can help you out. And that is all we have time for today. So thanks for joining us and Urat and Simplify. Simplify.